Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one we've got a really cool product to review for you, but first, if you're new around here, please do subscribe, take a look at our other videos. We've got something for everyone. Also drop a like on this video and a comment as to why you liked it or a dislike if you didn't like it and let us know why. And um, now we'll keep that nice and short and let's get into this. So here we go. This is what we're gonna be looking at today. This is the GL iNet Smart Mini Router. Now, this thing has lots of different uses. Um, why would you want one of these? Well, first of all, it's, it's small. It's really tiny, fits in the palm of your hand, and you can take it places with you. So it's gonna be great for setting up a small network um, between uh, your devices. So if you need to share files or something like that um, between lots of different devices, uh, you can do that. Um, it also is able to um, tether to your phone so you can share your phone's internet out if you don't have hotspot capabilities. You can do it this way. And because it has a LAN port on it too, you'll be able to plug in a hardwired device that may not be able to connect to a hotspot device. Um, it also has a WAN port on it. So if you are in a hotel or something like that that has uh, Wi-Fi and you're a bit, you know, scared about using their Wi-Fi because it's public and everything, you want to set up your own Wi-Fi, well, this would be a great way to share out an existing Wi-Fi connection. Um, you can take it on the road with you and use it in your vehicle or anything like that. The possibilities are endless. I'm going to tell you uh, real quick my plan for this. So my plan is to connect it to um, a Behringer X32 and a uh, Midas M32 so that I can connect my iPad wirelessly to it to uh, configure and control them. So it'll just create me a small local network to be able to do audio um, over a, a um, local area network like that. So let's take a look around the box real quick. So here we have it, and this is the front. Now, on the front of the box, uh, it's literally just uh, some, some brief information. Uh, it, it, you got the GLI net logo, a little, you know, picture of the product. And then we have the mini smart router and then some bullet points. Um, it's a uh, travel friendly uh, and uh, a flexible power supply. That's right. It's only a five volt um, one amp power. So you can power this via a USB, um, a battery bank or a USB um, power plug or something like that. Same kind of thing you would use for your phone. Um, uh, powerful hardware and um, it is also uh, open source platform which is awesome because that means you can build on top of this if you need to. Uh, turning it around we're going to look at this side it tells you all the different ways that you can um, use this to connect up to an internet service if you're going to do that. Um, so the first way is a cable so you use the, the uh, WAN and the LAN uh, cables like on a traditional router. Uh, second way is a repeater, so you can take an already existing Wi-Fi signal and repeat it out if you want to do that. And thirdly, um, it is tethering, so that would be plugging it into your um, mobile device via a USB cable and tethering it, sharing out your mobile um, provider's uh, data connection. Moving around to the back of the product, this is really actually um, the easy setup. And I love how they just put this on the back here because it pretty much tells you everything you need to do. Number one, power up the device. So they um, tell you, you know, just uh, basically plug it in and um, um, yeah, it'll give you a Wi-Fi signal. And so you look for that SSID that's on the box to connect to. Um, and then it tells you to connect via Wi-Fi or LAN. So if you're connecting via LAN, take your cable, plug it in, boom, there you go, you're done. If, you, if you're doing Wi-Fi, you're gonna look for the GLI net uh, Wi-Fi network that it shows on the box like this one. And then you're gonna enter the default password, which is good life, all lowercase, all one word. That's the default password. And then next, you're gonna open a browser and go to the default uh, admin um, IP address, which happens to be on 192.168.8.1. That's the default browser, uh, the default gateway to go to in your browser. Then we've got a little diagram here, which tells you um, about uh, what's going on with, with it and uh, what you can um, uh, connect up to it um, and what it's good for. Now, by the way, it, it does let you um, do a VPN as well, 
Um, you can see here hotspot on the back. Um, it has a, a perfect for a hotel. So it gives you kind of the the um, scenarios of what you can uh, do with it. Uh, and then moving around to the other side, just some little bullet points. Again, uh, what feature sets it has really quickly. So a VPN, uh, 300 meg, um, Wi-Fi speed, um, and port uh, compact. So that's pretty much it. So why don't we take the box and open it up? Here we go. Now open the box up. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, got some literature on the top right here. Put that off to one side. Put the box here. And it comes in this like, you know, egg carton feel kind of box. Let's see what we got uh, here. We have a uh, cable. This is your USB cable with a micro USB connector um, to power it with. It'll give you a flat Ethernet cord right here. And then the device itself. Now let's put all this off to one side. Take the device out of the bag and take a look. So look, it's a nice kind of lemony yellow color, isn't it? Look at that. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So let's take a look around the device. On the top, don't have anything going. It's got a curved kind of top here. It's smooth, um, you know, just, just nice, nice sleek looking. On the bottom, we've got the sticker um, with the information and, and little tiny little rubber feet. Okay, and on this side we have our uh, LAN and WAN port, um, as well as the micro USB. And then on this side uh, we have our uh, full size USB, so that would be for tethering. Um, and it may have some other functionality as well, but we'll have to find out. It also has a button and a switch, and I believe those are configurable um, in the interface to make them do uh, basically whatever you want to do. Um, and then moving around this side, we don't have anything really on that side uh, or that side. So that's pretty much all there is. And you can see how small this is. You look like there, it fits right in the palm of my hand. It's a very light weight. So I think uh, what we should do is um, jump over to the iPad. Um, I'm going to take the uh, cable right here. And uh, I have, I'm going to try and power this. Um, from a battery bank. Here is my uh, battery bank right here. This is a 26,800 milliamp hour battery pack. So we're going to try and uh, power it from that and, you know, see what happens. All right, here we go. Take our USB cable, plug it in right here. There we go. And we'll take this end of the USB cable and we're going to want to plug it into our micro USB port right there. So let's take that and connect it up. All right, I've done that. So let's see what happens. All right, so I'm here in my uh, Wi-Fi settings on my iPad and we can see right here that we do have uh, that connection. So let's go ahead and tap on it. Here we go. We're going to enter the default password, which is good life. So G O O D L I F E. And let's join that network. There we go. All right. So now if we take a look, it's just trying to join. There we go. It's joined and we'll go to the information section here and we can take a look and see uh, what is going on. And we can see there we have an IP address um, on that, uh, uh, dot eight uh, range there, 192.168.8 range. Uh, you can see our subnet and you can see uh, the, the router gateway there. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to jump into uh, Safari here um, and we will load up uh, that default uh, page and see what we get. So here we go, 192.168.8.1. All right, here we go. Here is our page. Um, first, it is uh, going to ask us to um, choose your language. So obviously, we want to select uh, English there. All right, and uh, next, it is going to ask us to set up uh, a default admin password. 
All right, so here we are on the default router homepage. So uh, when you first get to the homepage, it is just gonna show you an overview of a few things, um, as you can see right here. And then along the left-hand side, we have a bunch of options. So let's explore those real quick and then we can delve into a few of them and um, see what there is. Uh, so the top option is internet and then wireless and then clients. And then we have upgrade, then we have uh, the firewall, and then we have some VPN options. Uh, then we have uh, applications and then we have more settings. Um, so let's jump up to the top here. Um, internet. Now I'm not going to go into every one of these because I think they speak for themselves. But let me know if you want a video going through every section uh, of this router just to, to go through what it actually has. Um, I'm just going to jump into the ones that stand out here. Um, uh, so internet is going to be to configure the internet connection going into it. Uh, wireless is going to be to configure the um, Wi-Fi signal going out of it. Clients is going to be to show all the different clients that are connected to it. And you'll probably be able to do things like block and unblock and things like that if you need to. Upgrade, so that speaks for itself right there. Uh, firewall also speaks for itself right there. VPN, now this is interesting. A tiny little device like this that has a, a VPN capability. Um, so let's expand that and take a look at what it has. Okay, we've got an OpenVPN client, an OpenVPN server, a WireGuard client, and a WireGuard server, and then we have the uh, uh, internet kill switch, um, and then VPN policies. So that's pretty cool that it actually has uh, different um, uh, VPN servers. Not only can you use this to connect out to a VPN to encrypt all your traffic if you subscribe to a VPN service, you can set a VPN up on this as a server and connect to it remotely, which is pretty awesome that you could do that in such a, um, a tiny little uh, and, and a very inexpensive package. Um, so let's jump down further, um, right underneath. Uh, I, I wanna look in applications here and see what it has. Um, so uh, let's just scroll up. Um, we have plugins, so uh, that's going to be all because this is open source, so it does support lots of different plugins that you can just add on to this. And so we might take a look in there in just a second. Uh, file sharing, so that um, you can plug like a hard drive or USB stick into the USB port instead of like tethering, you can use the USB to file share. Um, remote access, that's going to be how you configure remotely accessing the device. And captive portal. That's pretty awesome that it has a captive portal. Um, that's that's really awesome. If you're not sure what a captive portal is, it's like if you go to McDonald's and uh, you know you connect to their Wi-Fi the first time you do it, and everything it pops up and it makes you do the terms and conditions and enter your email and blah 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 all that. So that's what that is. Uh, more settings. Let's take a look um, under more settings. We have um, the admin password um, and then uh, LAN IP time zone, um, and we also have uh, the uh, Mac cloning as well. Um, and then uh, right down at the bottom, you can do the uh, uh, DNS server. And also we have right there the uh, button settings because you can configure the different button settings. Um, and we have a network mode. Um, and then we also have right there, revert firmware. That is pretty awesome. Lots of different settings. Uh, we also have an advanced section as well, um, right at the bottom. So um, the thing I'm really interested in actually to just take a look at uh, real quick is gonna be um, back in applications. Uh, I want to see um, what is uh, under the plugin section. So I'm gonna click on that. And then we're going to uh, take a look at the plugins. Okay, so here's our plugins page uh, that has loaded. Um, and so we can see uh, exactly what's going on. It's just uh, zooming in a little bit right there. So uh, plugins, um, and then uh, you can go through. I, th I guess these are all the ones you can just add in. Um, or just download and add in maybe. Um, lots of different ones. Uh, not sure what all these are, but oh, there's, a, there's a bridge plugin and okay, yeah, CA 
bundle so you can create certificates i guess it is certificates yep that's that um a chat plugin not sure why you would want that but okay cool um okay anyway that's what that is i guess you would just search through um for all the different plugins and go ahead and uh, and add those all right guys well that just about does it thank you so much for watching um if again you want a bit more in-depth video going over all the different things like setting up uh, open vpn or um, uh, remote accessing or actually uh, connecting up to this thing um, and seeing uh, what else all we can do with it then uh, why don't you drop a comment below ask your questions um, and we'll see what we can do we can put another video together demonstrating those things um, and if you liked this video or you want to pick this product up I'm going to link it down below um, there'll be a link to Amazon it is an affiliate link it's not going to cost you any more it's just going to help us out just a little bit uh, with a, a couple of cents you know for uh, for our effort here um, so uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel check out our other videos and until the next time see you later